Today we're going to be talking about mass deploying Chromebooks with Landschool Air. Here's a look at a quick summary overview of the process. Now we'll begin by logging into Landschool Air with your administrator account. And once you're in, you're actually going to go to settings, setup, and then setup instructions under Chromebooks. Now we're going to sign into the Google Admin Console. Make sure you're signing in with your administrator account for Google Admin. Now we can force install the app and extension. In Google Admin, go to Devices, Chrome, Apps and Extension, Users and Browsers. You want to filter down to the OU that contains your Chromebook students. In the lower right hand corner, you'll see a plus symbol. Choose that and make sure to select Add Chrome app or extension by ID. Switch it to from a custom URL and then copy the extension ID and custom URL from step two of our guide. Once both of those steps are done, make sure to save it. Now we're going to choose force install for installation policy and we're going to set the permission and URL access to allow all permissions. Make sure to save that in the upper right hand corner. Now we're going to do the same exact thing that we just did for the extension for the app. So again, on step three of five, copy over the extension ID and custom URL. Now the important thing here in this particular step, this extension ID is unique to your organization. Once you have both of those copied, hit save. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to select force install for installation policy. And we're going to do permission and URL access to allow all permissions. Make sure to save it. Now from here, we're going to move on to the authorize with Google step. This allows Landschool Air permission to display student names from Google. Once the authorization step is complete, we're going to move on to some recommended configuration settings to give your students the best experience. From your Google Admin Console, go to Devices, Chrome, Settings, and then Users and Browsers. Navigate back to the OU that contains your Chromebook students. There's a lot of settings here, so rather than scroll, we're just going to do quick searches to get to the setting. For the first one, do a search on incognito. Under security incognito mode, select disallow incognito mode. Next, we're going to do a search on screenshots. So under content screenshot, allow users to take screenshots. Next up is developer tools. We want to disable this. So once you get to the setting, be sure to choose Never Allow. For the last setting in this section, do a search on Idle. Under Idle Settings, Action on Lid Close, select Logout. Be sure to hit Save in the upper right hand corner. Now for this next setting, it's not in this section, but we can get to it pretty easily. Do a search on Application Settings. Then click the link Application Settings page. Make sure Extension and Chrome Packaged App is selected. Great job! Now let's test the configuration by creating a new class. Assuming that you have a student who's already logged in with the Chromebook, you'll be able to see them in the roster section here. So once you choose your class name and image, hit Next and from the roster section, do a search on that student. Make sure to select them and hit Next. There's a couple other settings if you want, so make sure you step through those and then hit finish. You should see your class on your list and ensure that that student is logged in, then hit start class. If everything worked correctly, you'll see your student. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to visit landschool.com for more resources regarding Landschool Air.